I've been playing the Bard into the ground and back for years. Seven reasons to play Bard is one of the easiest topics for me to cover because Bard is packed with so many genuinely awesome things. In fact, I made it for raiding last expansion and guys, I cannot, s <laughs> how to say it, it has only gone with Endwalker so much better since then. My bigger problem at this point of this video is what particular selling points do I go for here? But I got it sorted, don't worry. There's a lot of combining like five different amazing points into one big kind of meta point. But if you're looking for a super engaging, fast paced, ever changing, high APM beast of a job, you want the bard. Super quick before I do get into the points though is if you want to help support me and my content I'd super appreciate if you considered dropping a spoony bard on that like button and cat dagging that subscribe button. Also I forgot to start this video with it's your boy Cole. What I'm not gonna forget is the points of this video. Reason number one to play the bard is that it has a high APM and its rotation is never the exact same. You are going to be addressing a ton of different unique activated effects and manage your rotation through as so many different ways. We're talking things like Pitch Perfect procs, uh, Blood Letter procs, Refulgent Arrow, or Shadow Bait activation, all the while your two damage over time effects are ticking in the background. Don't worry, those are easy to manage with Iron Jaw, and you're going to be changing up the song to buff your allies and downing a ton of off GCD abilities into the opponent. I seriously cannot emphasize enough that Bard has, out of all the jobs in 14, one of the most wild and involved and ever-changing rotations in the game, it just never stays the same. And if you're the type of person who's not a fan of jobs where muscle memory could just take the wheel, then Bard is going to be <laughs> amazing for you. I'm one of those people and Bard hits all of those happy pleasure spots. I'm so dumb. Another example that's really hit being close to home is a lot of people who were coming over from World of Warcraft dreaded the slower GCD, and I totally get that. I played WoW. Like, I can tell that there's definitely a difference there, but I can say for a fact that Bard was with its tons of effects and off GCDs can definitely relieve you from that worry. It is extremely fast paced and I find myself rarely getting bored. Just so many things to do that it's just like, even to this day, and I've played Bard for quite literally years. I played it during A Realm Reborn, Heaven's War, Stormblood, <laughs> Shadowbringers, and now into Endwalker. I, I've so rarely found myself bored. I realize that's super subjective to say, but that is my honest to God opinion. And, and you've seen me play Bard, so you know that's true. Reason number one was fundamental, and now for reason two is that the bard has the ability to delete mechanics alongside scholar the ability nature's manet is the seemingly deceptively seemingly useless ability that is absolutely outrageous with the right team kill position and i say this as someone who has main scholar for a decade that is my number one that is my boo that is my baby bard is definitely close behind it though but like i cannot emphasize when there is a good bard in the team that i can sync up with i become absolutely bonkers on Scholar. Scholar can deploy the biggest barriers in the game, no BS, and Bards, Nature's Manet, multiplicatively stacks with all of the other effects that the Scholar puts out, or other teammates, and all of a sudden those big barriers become big enough to cause a full-on solar eclipse. Multiplicative stacking with 20% addition from the Bard, absolute madness. This isn't a scholar video, but I need to point out the synergy because this is outrageously effective and has invalidated entire destructive mechanics in both Savage and all the ultimates. This is a synergy worth being second point. Excuse me, sir, have you considered talking to your doctor about Nature's Mene today? Which is funny because the sage is technically the doctor. Okay, I'm stopping now. Reason number three is that the bard is the number one cheerleader in the game, and I kid you not, when it comes to buffing the entire team, there is absolutely no job that does it better than the bard. No, not even Dancer. Dancer is more single target focused in spite of their two minute window technical step. It, it is not the same. But bard is taking its no many steps past Dancer and just bathes the entire team in tons of amazing effects and that's not an exaggeration but not only that but the bard can also have their own stacks and buffs stack multiplicatively with themselves more on that in a later point but essentially the bard is a walking talking living breathing raid buff window but first let's spell out the pieces a little bit first up is that you have 100% uptime on your three different songs critical hit rate up for the team straight up damage buff or direct hit rate up these songs have 100% uptime and are persistent background effects that most certainly do add up if you check out the numbers on FF logs obviously from the factual objective data, we can tell that Moandra's Minuet is absolutely lit. This is not really shocking because Critical Strike scales like mad. That's going to usually be what you use in a raid buff window, so it scales even better. And I, I need to stop myself because this isn't a statistics video, so I'm not going to open that can of worms, I promise, guys. But Wanderer's Minuet brings the heat. Marge Simpson's Ballad and Harvey's Pay on abilities also obviously help. What makes things go absolutely crazy are above those background effects that should have 100% uptime is that Radiant Finale and Battle Voice straight up 
big beefy buffs to damage for the entire team from both. Remember, these only exist in the raid buff window and have interplay with all the other buffs that make everyone in the team go absolutely ham. So while you might look at the number and compare it to other things, remember, this is not a persistent 100% background effect. This is literally during the raid buff window for a short burst of time, like 15 seconds. These effects are very good. To bring this to a conclusion, while I cannot point to any single ability like I could say for the White Mage Temperance or White Mage Lilybell in that video to be so-called God Tier, I will just label this entire package God Tier. No other job in the game brings the buffs to this level, not even Astra. Bard is absolutely wild for this point. Reason number four is that Bard has mobility for days. And I realize this is not shocking to hear on a ranged physical DPS because they're ranged. Wow, excuse me, as it have an epiphany, Bard is ranged! But guys, this is actually a huge selling point. Being ranged means that you can take responsibility for mechanics and help alleviate pressure from the team and allow them to do more melee uptime strategies. I know it doesn't necessarily make you the melee DPS as you know bit <laughs> but what it does mean is that you are an essential part of the team and you are facilitating their ability to do things and as a cohesive unit a cohesive team that's important and you're able to do that and that makes you a valuable member of the team okay and now i'm going to avoid the entire diatribe about range physical dps is also one of the most sought after jobs and that people really want a range physical dps that knows their job and can do things like this and facilitate that and that range physical dps aren't actually undervalued but they are actually super super valued and that they're super important for this basically my point is it doesn't make you like a female dog <laughs> if you're <laughs> laying a bard this is actually super desirable another thing is that it means that you also don't need to worry about dropping your rotation or your uptime outside of the wildest roughest situations where you literally have absolutely crazy things going on and about that last point about i don't need to stop my rotation that personally appeals to me myself a lot i don't enjoy when i'm not pressing my buttons so that's a huge selling feature to me. Mask off, I don't like when I can't press my buttons. Oh my god, shocking scandal. But Bard also has had significant buffs to their backstep ability, and I have already used that for years very effectively, and it's called Repelling Shot. This is a top tier ability, super underrated by the community, but... Y how to say it? You as a Bard should be close to the party and the boss to get the raid buffs and healing and people's please stand in, for the love of god stand in the sacred soil and um yeah i don't know why people play range dps and are out in uranus and then are shocked when the cheeks clap and they die hey guys my name is solid snake and sometimes the clap of my but my point is when you need to get out of that group stack and do a mechanic you literally can use this to instantly move it's a fantastic ability massively underrated it is great reason number five is going to be really simple because while it isn't mind-blowing it does add a lot and bard has a ton of unique fringe utility and that is is actually important. Bard has an Asuna skill with the Warren's PN, which to say the least is not always useful, but when it is useful, you will absolutely love this skill. You will love it when it's useful. This has been useful in things like E8S Shiva. This has been useful in the Epic of Alexander Ultimate. This has been useful in removing roots and bleeds from my dumb ass self when I make an oopsie. <laughs> Hell, I remember like that one Stormblood Evelise raid where I, there's like this like horse dude and he like roots you if you like stand in the dumb and I remember using this ability to great effect during that. As I said, when you, you when you get the chance to use this ability, it feels really great. But add in silence, this movement speed buffs that are totally something that you should actually be using during dungeons. Very useful. Use Peloton, please. And the Bard is just a very utility heavy job. Oh yeah, let's not forget blanketing the entire team in 10% mitigation for 50 seconds every 90 seconds that always feels fucking incredible to use and compared to addle or faint from other dps jobs this lasts five seconds longer so it has more coverage it can be used a bit more flexibly to like hit at least two mechanics it is damage type agnostic which uh yeah, to say the least, range physical damage, bring the heat. This number six is going to be short because I've kind of covered it a little bit, but I really want to stress that the Bard has so much interplay with its big buffs and skills. I touched on it before, but there is something absolutely gratifying about lining up Raging Strikes with Battle Voice, with Radiant Finale and Barrage, and going into Winter Wanderer's Minuet window where you blow away enemies. Alignment of everything is an aspect of the Bard that I know many people, such as myself, super enjoy. This lends itself to being a high skill kill ceiling kind of job this really helps push the bard to be like oh okay there's actually a lot of meat here there's a lot of depth there's like girth to this class and we all know what they say about <laughs> reason number seven okay guys 
This might seem like a cop-out, but I don't want to get into the nitty-gritty details over the bard here, like to the micro levels. That's like an ultimate guide video kind of thing. But flat out, my genuine opinion is that bard is just magnificently fun to play. Like, hear me out, guys. I get it. Ranged physical DPS aren't top of FF logs. I get it. They need some love in the numerical damage department. But the bard is a master class in job design. It is engaging. It is always changing. It has depth and complexity and mastery to it. It has a skill ceiling that goes high. It is ridiculously subjective to say the least, but I thoroughly and completely enjoy the bard, and I have for literally years. High APM, high mobility, high skill ceiling, great buffs to the team. It feels fucking incredible to play. And with that point, we are at the conclusion of 7 reasons to play the bard. It went a little longer than I had expected and originally intended, but I cannot stress enough, I absolutely love the bard. I have played it for years and I continue to because it is flat out stupidly fun. Bard is honestly a masterclass in job design and I am nowhere even close to right to bench my bard. I adore it so much and I really hope that you give it a shot. Okay everyone, and I hope that you have an absolutely fucking incredible day.